so dear students of class 12th welcome back uh, we had gone to this three parts of this story the portrait of a grandmother so we are on the final leg in these two parts we have seen the, the so the relationship of the writer with his grandmother first when he was in the village and second time when they shifted to the city when his parents were settled in the city now the bond between the two is getting changed as they are having a new sort of work there so we will uh, begin from here so said when i uh, decided to go abroad for further studies i was sure my grandmother would be upset i would be away for 5 years and at her age one could not one could you yeah, never tell but my grandmother could she was not even sentimental she came to live to leave me at the railway station but did not talk or show any emotion her lips moved in prayer her mind was lost in a prayer her fingers were over so the busy telling the beads of her rosary silently she kissed my forehead and when i left i cherished the moist imprint as the perhaps as perhaps the last sign of physical contact between us so in this paragraph the writer moves to the third part of the relationship between him and his so the grandmother here he says when he has done his school education in that english medium school where the grandmother was not happy about the studies of science and all that he decided to go abroad abroad means foreign country he decided to go to some foreign country for his further studies aage ki padhai ke liye wo kahan ja raha hai abroad ja raha hai foreign country ja raha hai so my grandmother was not sure uh, i was not sure my grandmother would be upset so i was doubtful whether the grandmother was upset means disappointed not happy i would be away for 5 years so i had to spend 5 years abroad and at her age one could never tell at the age my so the means the grandmother of the narrator one cannot say about the life of the grandmother means when he will come back from his studies whether she will be alive or not वो रहेगी या नहीं वन कैन नॉट टेल बट माई ग्रैंड मदर कुड बट माई ग्रैंड मदर वॉज सो स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट सी वॉज नॉट पिट अपसेट ऑन माई डिपार्चर टू द अब्रॉड मैं जो डिपार्ट कर रहा था जा रहा था विदेश के लिए सी वॉज नॉट अ बिट अपसेट सी वॉज नॉट इवन सेंटिमेंटल आई कूडेंट सी दैट सी वॉज अ बिट इमोशनल वो जरा सा भी इमोशनल भी नहीं थी she came to leave me at the railway station and did not talk or show any emotion to so, railway station tak gayi to see me off she came to the railway station but she did not talk or did not show any emotion her lips moved in prayer her mind was lost in prayer so means i could see that even on that time when i was departing to the abroad my grandmothers lips were busy in telling prayer means the usual thing that she used to do her mind was lost in prayer she was totally lost in prayer she was doing the same usual thing as she used to do her fingers were busy telling the beads of her rosary beads of her rosary means kya bataya tha means the way of reciting the prayers with the help of some beads jo ek manke ki mala uski thi usi ko wo jap rahi hai so telling the beads of rosary silently she kissed my forehead forehead means the front part of the head forehead ko usne kiss kiya and when i left i cherished the moist imprint as perhaps the last sign of physical contact between us when i left means when i went away when i took my train and went away i cherished means i was are remembering the happiest moment when she kissed my forehead and i was feeling at the same time 
मॉइस्ट इम्प्रिंट मॉइस्ट मीन्स मीन्स मेड ऑफ मॉइस्चर जो मॉइस्चर आ जाता है जो उसके लिप्स का मॉइस्चर मेरे फोर हेड पे था आई चेरिस्ट दैट एज पैप्स द लास्ट साइन ऑफ फिजिकल कॉन्टेक्ट बिटवीन एस एंड आई थाट पैप्स दिस इज द लास्ट साइन ऑफ फिजिकल टच ऑफ माई द ग्रैंड मदर एंड मी बट बट दैट वॉज नॉट सो बट दैट वॉज नॉट सो आफ्टर फाइव ईयर्स आई केम बैक होम एंड वॉज मेट बाय हर एट द स्टेशन सी डिड नॉट लुक एट डे ओल्डर सी स्टिल हैड नो टाइम फॉर वर्ड्स एंड वाइल सी क्लैस्ड मी इन हर आर्म्स आई कुड हियर हर रिसाइटिंग हर प्रेयर्स इवन ऑन द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ माई इवन ऑन द फर्स्ट डे ऑफ माई अराइवल हर हैप्पीएस्ट मोमेंट वर विद हर स्पैरोज होम सी फेड लॉन्गर एंड विद फ्रेवलस रिव्यूज सो बट my grandmother was not of that type she was alive she was very strong after 5 years when i completed my studies in abroad when i came back to home i was met by her i saw her that she had come to the railway station to receive me mujhe receive karne ka aaye railway station pe aaye she did not look a day older she was having the same age or having the same type of appearance she still had no time for words she didn't talk to me even on that time and while she clasped me in her arms clasped means embraced clasped means hold clutch she clasped me she hold uh, she held me in her arms usne apne arms mein apne chhati se mujhe lagaya i could hear her reciting i could hear her reciting her prayers even on that moment her lips were busy in telling the prayer even on the first day of my arrival her happiest moment were with her sparrows whom she had whom she fed longer and with frivolous rebukes even on the first day of my arrival means i had come back after a long time of 5 years it was my first day at home after a long time period of 5 years her happiest moments were means the grandmother's happiest moment happiest time was with the sparrow when she fed fed means give grains she gave food to the sparrow to us sparrow ko feed karna hai uske liye kya tha us din bhi happiest moment tha and with frivolous rebukes frivolous rebukes means frivolous means only just to make something for a show off dikhane ke liye jab hum rebuke rebuke means scolding kisi ko hum dikhane ke liye dante hain we do not scold someone hotly we are not severe we just want to show that i am angry though i am not so it is called frivolous rebuke so she was having a frivolous rebuke with the sparrows the sparrows ko wo khali she was trying to chase them away as if she was annoyed actually she was very happy hum dikhave ke liye jab kisi ko dantte hain kisi bacche ko any anybody anything that is so loving to us we scold the thing the person only to मेक अ शो ऑफ दिखाने के लिए सिर्फ उसको इट इज कॉल्ड फ्रेवलस रिव्यूज इन द इवनिंग अ चेंज केम ओवर हर शाम को उसके अंदर एक चेंज आया क्या आया सी डिड नॉट प्रे सी स्टॉप प्रेइंग सी कलेक्टेड द वुमेन सी कलेक्टेड द वुमेन ऑफ द नेबरहुड गॉट एन ओल्ड ड्रम गॉट एन ओल्ड ड्रम एंड स्टार्टेड टू सिंग For several hours, she thumped the sagging skins of the dilapidated drum and sang of the homecoming warriors. We had, of, we had to persuade her to stop to avoid overstraining. That was the first time since I had known her that she did not pray. So, evening, course, के अंदर एक चेंज आया. She collected the women of the neighborhood. अपने neighborhood की women को उसने collect किया, बुलाया. got an old drum a old sa drum dhol manga liya and started to sing and she started singing prayers bhajan or whatsoever for several hours she thumbed the thumbed means she hit the drum with her thumb thumbed aise apne anguthe se usko beat kiya drum ko the sagging skin the loose skin of dilapidated drum dilapidated means some a drum that has got worn out that has got a loose skin sagging skin of the dilapidated drum means a drum 
which is so old that its skin has loose and and it is it cannot be used anymore it cannot produce the same sound as a drum should produce so it is called dilapidated drum old and loose skin and the sang of the homecoming warriors the singing she was singing the song that is usually sung for the warriors when they come home we had to persuade her we had to persuade persuasion persuade karna kisi ko convince karna we had to convince her to stop to avoid overstanding that she should not sing the song for such a long time with that old dilapidated drum because she may get overstrain overstrain means she may get stress she was so old that she shouldn't do any hard work so it was a kind of hard work for her so uh, the writer says that we try to convince her that she should stop beating drum and singing because it may cause a fever for her that was the last that was the first time since i had known her that she did not pray this was the first time i saw that she was not telling the prayers the so the next morning she was taken ill means she fell she fell ill dusre din wo bimar ho gayi it was a mild fever and the doctor told us that it would go when the doctor came doctor said that it is a mild fever it is a very uh, normal type of fever mild not very severe severe ka opposite kya hota hai mild fever bahut halka sa tha and doctor told that it would go ye kya ho jayega she will recover from it but my grandmother thought differently but my grandmother had a different thought of her fever wo kuch alag se soch rahi thi she told us that her end was near usne bataya ki she is very close to her end end means death she said that since only a few hours before the uh, the close of the last she clo- uh, the close of the last a chapter of her life Uh, so she said that just she said that since only a few hours uh, so the before abhi kuch hours pehle usne apne life ka last chapter close kar diya hai she has realized that she is at the last leg of her life she had uh, closed the last chapter of her life she had omitted to pray so she had just deleted uh, here omitted means it is uh, abolished deleted erased usne erase kar diye prayer she was not going to waste any more time talking to us and she said that she will not waste time to talk to them unse baat karke time kharab nahi karegi she has known that it is the last time for her we protested protested means opposed humne oppose kiya usse ki aisa nahi hai but she ignored our protest lekin hamare oppose ko usne इग्नोर कर दिया डिडेंट पे अटेंशन इग्नोर मीन्स डिड नॉट पे अटेंशन टू आर प्रोटेस्ट सी ले पीसफुली इन बेड प्रेइंग एंड टेलिंग हर बीट्स इवन बिफोर वी कुड सस्पेक्ट हर लिप्स स्टॉप मूविंग एंड द रोजरी फेल फ्रॉम हर लाइफ फिंगर्स अ पीसफुल पेल और स्प्रेड ऑन हर फेस एंड वी न्यू दैट सी वॉज डेड एंड बिफोर वी कुड सस्पेक्ट हमें कोई डाउट होता उसको लेके her lips stopped achanak se uske lips ruke her lips moved her lips stopped moving a rosary fell uske fingers mein jo beads of jo rosary thi usko wo niche gir gayi aur uske fingers kya ho gayi lifeless she was dead a peaceful a pallor a pallor means yellow is color jo koi mar jata hai when somebody is dead his skin uh, get white first pale and then white a peaceful pallor spread on her face and we knew that she was dead hame pata lag gaya she is no more we uh, so they lifted her off the bed of the bed means away from the bed and as is custom as it customary laid her on the ground jaise customary means this was the tradition koi char pai pe marta to use kahan le aate dead body ko the uh, dead body of the person is taken to the ground usko ground mein rakha and cover her with a red shroud shroud means the cloth that is used to wrap a dead body the dead body ko wrap karne ke liye jo cloth hota hai so shroud kafan jise kehte hain red covered usko kiya after a few hours of mourning we left her alone to make uh, arrangements 
आफ्टर ए फ्यू आर्स कुछ आर्स की मॉर्निंग एम ओ यू आर एन आई एन जी मॉर्निंग मॉर्निंग मीन्स लेमेंटेशन ओवर द डेथ ऑफ सम वन हु इज़ वेरी क्लोज टू अस और सम बडीज डेथ किसी की डेथ पे जब हम क्या करते हैं वी एक्सप्रेस आर सेल सोरोज वी क्राई उसे मॉर्निंग कहते हैं एम ओ यू आर एन पे अटेंशन टू द स्पेलिंग वी लेफ्ट हर वी केप्ट हर अलोन टू मेक अरेंजमेंट्स हम अरेंजमेंट्स के लिए चले गए आगे किसके लिए वी मूवड अहेड फॉर द फॉर द टू मेक द अरेंजमेंट्स फॉर हर फिनरल फिनरल मीन्स फिनरल मीन्स फिनरल इज द फाइनल सेरेमनी ऑफ अ पर्सन मीन्स द डेथ द वे द डेथ सेरेमनी इज ऑल्सो सेलिब्रेटेड इन अ वे वी कैन से हम जिस तरह से लोगों को बुला के उसके उसका क्रिमेशन करते हैं या बरियल करते हैं इट इज़ कॉल्ड फिनरल सेरेमनी इन द इवनिंग वी वेंट टू हर रूम विद अ क्रूड स्ट्रेचर टू टेक हर टू बी क्रिमेटेड इवनिंग में गए उसके रूम में एक वुडन स्ट्रेचर को लेके स्ट्रेचर इज ए काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ऑन विच द सिक पर्सन और अ डेड पर्सन इज टेकन टू इज मूवड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर क्रूड स्ट्रेचर लेके गए उसके रूम में ताकि उसे क्रीमेट कर सके क्रीमेटेड मीन्स क्रीमेटेड इज ए काइंड ऑफ फिनरल सेरेमनी जैसे बरियल में क्या होता है वी बरी द डेड बॉडी सिमिलरली क्रीमेशन में क्या होता है वी सेट फायर ऑन द डेड बॉडी एक पाइल लगाते हैं वुडन एंड फिर उस पर वी सेट फायर ऑन दैट पाइल ऑफ वुड इट इज कॉल्ड अ क्रीमेशन सो उसकी बॉडी को क्रीमेशन होना था उसके लिए क्रूड का स्ट्रेचर लेके उसके रूम में गए तो क्या देखा द सन वॉज सेटिंग and had lit her room and the veranda with a blaze of uh, the golden light sun setting ke time pe ki baat thi her room was lit lit means was fully lit up with the blaze of golden light ekdam golden light se wo jagmaga raha tha room we stopped halfway in the courtyard courtyard ke paas hi ruke all over the veranda and in her room right up to where she lay dead and stiff रेप्ड इन द रेड स्राउट थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्पैरो सेट स्केटेड ऑन द फ्लोर तो हमने देखा कि वरांडा से लेकर उसके रूम तक जहाँ उसकी स्टिफ हार्ड बॉडी रेप्ड थी रेड स्राउट में थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्पैरोज वॉज स्केटर्ड ऑल ओवर द फ्लोर ऑफ द वरांडा एंड द रूम देयर वॉज नो चॉपिंग किसी तरह की कोई आवाज़ वो स्पैरोज नहीं कर रही थी सब वहाँ आ गई थी वी फेल्ट सॉरी फॉर द बर्ड्स एंड माई गिफ्ट एंड माई मदर फेस्ड सम ब्रेड फॉर दैन माई जो मेरी मदर थी वो जाके उन बर्ड्स के लिए कुछ ब्रेड्स रोटी के टुकड़े ले आई सी ब्रोक द लिटिल क्रम सी ब्रोक इट इन टू द लिटिल क्रम्स छोटे छोटे क्रम्स मीन्स पीसेस में थोड़ा द वे माई ग्रैंड मदर यूज टू एंड थ्रू इट टू दैम और उनके ऊपर रोटियों के पीस फेंके द स्पैरोज टुक नो नोटिस ऑफ द ब्रेड लेकिन स्पैरोज ने उनकी तरफ कोई नोटिस नहीं दिया डिडेंट पे अटेंशन टू द ब्रेड वैन वी कैरी माई ग्रैंड मदर्स कॉप्स ऑफ कॉप्स मीन्स डेड बॉडी जब हम अपने मैं अपनी ग्रैंड मदर की डेड बॉडी को वहाँ से ले गए दे फ्लू अवे फैक्ट्री द स्पैरोज फ्लू फ्लाई फ्लू फ्लोन द स्पैरोज फ्लू अवे क्वाइटली से बिना किसी शोर के वो भी उड़ गई वहाँ से एंड द नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग द स्वीपर सेप द ब्रेड क्रम्स इन टू द डस्टबिन और नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग को स्वीपर आया और वो ब्रेड के क्रम्स जो पीसेस थे उनको स्वीप करके डस्टबिन में ले गया सो दिस वॉज हाउ द स्पैरोज सो दियर ग्रीव ऑन द डेथ ऑफ ऑन द डेथ ऑफ द राइटर्स सो द ग्रैंड मदर सो इट वॉज द एंड ऑफ द लेसन सो यू नीड टू डू ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन इन योर fair textbook uh, fair notebook and then you also write down the hard words all the exercise you will do if you have any doubt you can ask me in the group so thank you that's all for now take care